right people today i'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to breed cherry shrimp and yeah let's just get started now i've been keeping cherry shrimps for about five to six years now and people i started with two females and three males and those five individuals have literally created an army of cherry shrimp like at one point my fluval flex was literally red because there were so many cherry shrimps it all kind of comes down to the setup and that but we'll go through it step by step as a matter of fact i'm simply going to talk you through what i done with my fluval flex because as you can see the fluval flex is full with cherry shrimps and that started with five also on a side note over these past five to six years i've given away loads of cherry shrimps and i moved way over 100 into my 200 liter because there was a time where i was trying to get them to establish in my 200 liter but that obviously didn't work out but my point is over these years i've literally taken out over two to three hundred cherry shrimps and still they are breeding and maintaining that population like really and truly i should probably start selling some on ebay i don't know i'll think about it now in regards to tank size um any small tank is going to be fine for me personally i use the fluval flex 57 now the real important thing is actually the hardscape and the plants because with cherry shrimp in order to get them to breed you need to make sure that they are comfortable and the only way they are going to be comfortable is if they have hiding spots so there's a few things you can do i mean in regards of rocks you can just pile a few rocks together and just by piling two together you're naturally going to create many little small hiding spots that the cherry shrimps can hide in then of course there are rocks that already have holes in them like dragonstone for example or even serio rock that has those little ridges they would also serve as great hiding spots for the cherry shrimps and of course you can always get straight up caves they will also really enjoy those now of course the hardscape isn't going to be enough you're also going to need quite a few plants you see plants they give the cherry shrimps a lot of cover and i guess it kind of comes down to whether you want a community tank or just a pure cherry shrimp tank i can tell you guys right now the community tank does work because that's what my fluval flex is but if you want to make a community tank work you are definitely going to need plants and the more plants you have the better because keep in mind when cherry shrimps have babies the babies are tiny like they are so small you won't even be able to see them unless you're literally this close to the aquarium and really looking for them which means even a small fish like a neon tetra would probably Probably eat them as a small snack so yeah the more plants you have and the more hardscape you have and the more hiding spaces you have in general the more the cherry shrimps will breed and the more of a chance you'll have that the cherry shrimp babies will actually survive like it took about two to three months before my five cherry shrimp turned to a few hundred now one very important thing i guess i should mention is you're definitely gonna want to cover up any escape routes like for example with the fluval flex like the fluval flex has this back compartment for the filter and the way it takes in the water from the main tank is of course with these grills and people i'll be honest you are going to lose quite a few shrimps to those intakes like they're not necessarily going to die they're just going to chill in that chamber and i don't know i feel like they come out again as well but you're definitely going to have quite a few back there especially once your cherry shrimp start breeding and at the start if you want to you can keep taking them out but i would say just accept it just accept the fact that cherry shrimps will end up in that back compartment and just rely on the fact that cherry shrimps will continue to breed in your main tank and those that are lost will get replaced eventually that's how i chose to see it anyway because every time i saw cherry shrimps back there i tried to save them but yeah like at this point i probably have about a hundred back there and every now and then i do go on a little rescue mission and take some of them out but it's just going to be way too much effort to constantly try and control the amount of shrimps that are going inside of those grills but yeah just a little heads up like if you have a different aquarium but there are also other escape routes try your best to cover them up unless of course you don't mind losing a few shrimp now once you've got your main setup of the aquarium so you've got the tank you've got all of the hardscape and you've got all of the plants that's when you can go to the shop and buy yourself some cherry shrimps i mean of course cycle your tank properly and all of that but yeah once you've done that go get yourself some cherry shrimp and once they get comfortable they should start breeding all right people i'm just editing right now as you can see and yeah i've realized that i was kind of assuming that everyone who's watching this video knows how to set up an aquarium so let me just quickly clarify of course you're going to need more than just a tank hardscape and plants you're going to need a filter that's going to clean your water you're going to need a light that's going to you know help your plants 
plants grow in there and you are going to need a heater that is going to keep your water at a certain temperature i keep my water at 26 degrees celsius and yeah make sure you have all the equipment for your aquarium if you have something like a fluval flex they come with everything included anyway but yeah, make sure you got all of that and your hardscape and your plants and then you can go to the shop and get your shrimps all right i thought it'd be easier to show you like this so when you get to the shop you obviously want to get some males and females like i mentioned at the start we started off with two females and three males so that skinnier one that just went behind there or that one there that is the male so they're usually smaller and then the slightly bigger ones there you go the one going back there that's a female so you can tell by looking at their bodies they are slightly bigger and you know a bit more fat and yeah that's all you need to do really once you have males and females you just need to put them in the tank and as long as they feel safe they are going to breed i mean all of these hiding spots here we have babies here somewhere but they're really hard to see but yeah as long as the shrimps feel like their babies are going to be safe they are going to breed and they'll lay those eggs and as long as you have enough hiding spots the shrimp should survive as you can see we've got tetris in here got guppy in here as well we've even got some corridors so yeah if you do want to try out a community tank make sure you've got loads and loads of hiding spots and yeah the males are the slightly skinnier ones and then the females are the bigger ones before we carry on if you are enjoying this video then let me know by leaving a like and if you want to see more videos like this every single week then please remember to subscribe it really helps me out but yeah, if you want to stay on the safe side i would say just get the shrimps first let them breed a little bit and let them take over the aquarium and then i would introduce some fish if you want to stay on the safe side but having said that for me personally i actually added them all at the same time and they did get along fine but once again the tank was very heavily planted so the baby shrimps also had a lot of hiding spots now once you've had the shrimp in the tank for a while and they have been breeding and you've got all the little hiding spots and everything like that that's when you could add in some new fish now and some of the fish that worked for me have been tetras grammies as well like honey grammies but i do have to say they do snack on the cherry shrimps however once you've already got a decent colony and you've got enough hiding spots like your existing cherry shrimp should be able to maintain the colony um, another thing that worked for me that actually kind of surprised me were coolie loaches. To this day, I still have coolie loaches in that fluval flex and they don't touch the cherry shrimps at all. However, when you look online, they do say that coolie loaches eat shrimps. So I don't know if it's a case of every animal is different or maybe they do snack on shrimps sometimes. I just don't see it. But in my aquarium, I've got coolie loaches and they don't touch the cherry shrimps at all as far as I can see. Or if they do, the remaining cherry shrimps breed enough to maintain the population now the siamese fighting fish was one that kind of worked for me um at the start he did not touch any of the cherry shrimps however for some reason like after a month he just suddenly started going around and eating loads of the shrimps which meant i did have to unfortunately take him out and take him back to the store however having said that i have heard of people who have kept beta fish with cherry shrimps so i guess that is once again a case of every animal is different and you can try it out and if it does work out for you then great you're very lucky but yeah for me personally the beta fish only worked out for a few weeks now another thing that worked out which was really really surprising for me was the rams um once again they did eat the cherry shrimps but they ate them so sparingly or there was just so many hiding spots that the babies had enough spaces to hide but like the remaining shrimps always maintained the population and yeah i thought i'll just mention that because there are many people online that say you won't be able to breed cherry shrimp with other fish that and i'm here to tell you that it does happen because it happened in my aquarium now two really quick tips to make your cherry shrimps feel even more comfortable if you want to is you can add in some almond leaves they apparently work really great i never really used them because i didn't want to like tint the water in my aquarium however cherry shrimps do enjoy them very much also there's another thing um i forgot what they're called i think it's called chaya wood or something like that but they're basically like these little tubes with loads of little holes in them and shrimps love them and they use them as hiding spaces as well so once again if you want to make your shrimps feel more comfortable and encourage them to breed those are a few things you can add in as well but yeah like i mentioned people breeding cherry shrimp is very simple and very easy and the fluval flex is the perfect aquarium to breed them in as a matter of fact i've made a review on my fluval flex after having it for about five years and if you want to see that video then click right here